Hello, welcome to my channel. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a fun reading. I just want to see um, who Rihanna is going to marry because um, over the years we've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, be with her. Um, but, you know, we Rihanna is a Pisces um, sun and I believe she is an Aries moon. I'm just going to check real quick at what moon sign she is. I believe that Rihanna is a Aries moon. Yep, she is. Okay. So she's a Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moon. Very cool combo there. So I just want to go ahead and see what kind of person Rihanna may marry. Thank you for tuning in. Let's just see what kind of cards we get. So Rihanna, Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moon. What kind of person is she going to marry? We have the card of Free Yourself. Free Yourself. Okay, so right now with... um. Her company, her music career, Fenty Beauty. I'm seeing that there's a lot of focus right now on her building her empire. And like keeping it that way. There is kind of an energy here of not wanting to be controlled or held down by anything necessarily. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe her her childhood or her relationship with her parents has influenced how she sees uh, I feel men. That's what I'm getting. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So yeah, there's definitely an energy here of her like kind of being like afraid to open her heart. Um, there is kind of an energy here of her being like annoyed with men. I know that in the past she's 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 given some kind of funny comments about on um, men and dating in general, but I definitely see that a very independent spirit here. Now, people who typically have Aries sun or Aries moon are normally very um entrepreneurial and uh, independent. To be honest with you, a lot of I mean, whether you're a man or woman, people that normally have Aries sun or Aries moon you know, can 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 ride solo, basically, you know, they don't really need to have anyone necessarily to be happy in life. Um, not that other zodiac signs do, but a lot of times depending on, you know, certain placements, Venus, Moon, Sun, um, it, it, it and Mercury, Mercury and Mars, it really can determine how you see relationships, how you like to uh, handle, you know, close connections. So from what I from what I see here, from what I see here, um, she has been hurt. Yeah, Air, you mean you know Chris Brown? Let's not bring up Chris Brown, but yeah, I definitely see this energy here. Like she's she's been hurt. You know she's been hurt um, by men in the past, um, deeper than we know, and it feels like she's really uh, kind of turned off. To be honest with you, so what kind of person is she, is she gonna marry? Is she, is she gonna get married? I mean, does she want to get married? Because it doesn't. I mean, the Emperor Reverse, Knight of Swords. The full reverse, the king of swords reverse, the uh, wheel of fortune and nine of nine of swords. So this is something that she's not really worried about. I feel she's not worried about getting married. She looks very content to me here, like extremely content. Four of cups reversed. So it feels like because of the heartbreaks she's had. She's not really, um, she hasn't really warmed up to the idea of like being a wife, it feels. I mean, I'm not saying that she's turned off, but I, I get this feeling here that she's kind of, um, not really interested. That's kind of, I'm not, I was, I'm shocked to see that. Three of Cups reverse, so this is like third party. So maybe the person she'll she'll marry has some kind of controversy controversy with um cheating. Or I feel like in Rihanna's eyes, she's very um she's really used to being around excuse me <laughs> people people who um are known for cheating. That's strange, huh? So in her eyes, she feels like she doesn't want to be a part of a third party. You know, she doesn't want to be caught up in any drama. I just feel that she's really content. Queen of Swords reversed. That's interesting. Nine of Wands. Nine of, oh, Nine of Wands. Okay. Let's get two more. 
Eight of Wands. So the person she's going to marry, she wants this person to be uh, available at all times. Okay, so the person that Rihanna's going to marry needs to be able to have time for her. So this could be somebody who's not as unwealthy as she is. Like financially, this could be a man or whatever. This could be somebody who doesn't have as much money as her um, on purpose because then they'll have more time for her. So the first signal, the two the two first signs I'm getting of this future person she could marry um, may have commitment issues or she could um, and, and needs to have open availability at all. At, I'm hearing at all times. This person needs to be able to, you know, fly to Dubai, fly to the Bahamas, fly to London, fly to Paris. Like she wants someone who likes to travel. So this person will like to travel Four pentacles. Yeah, see this person? I see a prenup. Um, there, there most likely will be a, will be a prenup. Okay, some characteristics of this person, please, that Rihanna will marry. Hmm. Who will Rihanna marry? Retreat, finances, and career. So I feel for a good amount of time that she may choose her career for a really long like you could do both you know you could have kids you could be married you could have career but with her it feels like this may be um a very long time i just feel she's had really bad experiences that's what i get here she's had really bad experiences with with, with people page of cups reverse and i feel like she's a yeah, the devil card. See the devil. See the devil came up too. So I don't feel like she's um. Mm. Heart to heart conversation. There could be somebody. Um, this feels like Drake to me. I'm not saying she's gonna marry Drake, but there could be a, a period where she goes back to Drake, or they have a, like a hookup. Is what I'm feeling here. Maybe they have a hookup or they go they 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 talk a little bit. I'm not saying she's gonna marry Drake, but there is there is definitely some vibe here of maybe she's gonna be talking to Drake. Um I, maybe Drake has feelings for her. I'm getting Drake here. Mm, I wonder if they want to have a baby together. Drake is a Scorpio, Sun, Leo. I think Leo rising or Leo moon, Cancer rising or Cancer moon. Interesting. That's very interesting to me. Knight of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. And the Death card reverse. Yeah. This could be somebody she already has been with. So the person she, I'm not saying it's Drake. I don't, I don't really see that. But I, I feel like maybe before she does get married in the press, they may bring up Drake a lot because Drake has a very, he admires her beauty, her talent, you know. You know, we all know that Drake admires her. So I'm just saying that I think maybe before she does tie the knot, he can come back and he probably is going to go back into the picture is what I'm getting here. With a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and retreat. This feels like sh this could be... She could tie the knot with somebody she already has known for a, for a lot of years. This person may or may not be famous. This person may or may not be famous. That's what I'm getting here, okay? But it looks like leading up to this marriage... She's, she's going to have a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety here I'm seeing, like... She doesn't really like to, um, I don't know. It just feels like she's very content. I can't, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't, hmm. Ten of wands. So I don't know. She sees marriage as a burden. Maybe because she's stinking rich. Maybe, but she sees it as a burden. This is either during the marriage or before she gets married. There is some kind of energy here of a burden, okay? Her her not really wanting to go through with this. Um, I'm not saying she doesn't love the person, 
but it just feels like a tag along. So the person she marries, it feels very tag along. Like she just wants them to just kind of keep her company, but she doesn't want to come across as like needing a person or needing a man or, you know, needing to be married. Uh, it's not like a goal for her. This is not a goal for her. So that Aries, that Aries, that Aries, um, her Aries placements are really shining through, okay? Because this is very independent. King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Swords, okay? Uh, could be a divorce. Wow. This this could be a divorce. Mm. I get this weird feeling that maybe she realizes that it's not really for her. You know, does anybody else get that feeling? Like, I get a feeling here that maybe she's going to realize that this is this is not really for her. Like, being married is not really her thing. I mean, look at that card. You know, these are not cards that you want to see um, with marriage. I mean, it's just so, ugh, it's not, it's not good. So, mmm. Yeah, I'm I'm getting vibes of this. This could be a called off engagement or this could be like maybe like I said, Drake is coming up a lot. <laughs> like maybe Drake is going to tempt her to call this engagement off. Like I said, this person may or may not be rich. If this per if this person's not rich, they're going to be very, very soft and uh, a little insecure. Like if she does, if she marries somebody who's not rich Maybe somebody from her childhood or someone that she she's known for years behind the scenes. This person I see here is very soft, very soft spoken, um, but may not uh, it may not hold up, you know, because I see a lot of anxiety here, and I do see people from her past wanting to come and come out. So there could be some men in her life who tempt her to cheat. Okay, it, when she is married. Um, and I do see that here, okay? This could be a Virgo. Maybe the person she marries is a Virgo. Vir Virgo, Venus, rising uh, moon or sun, okay? Yeah, there's three of swords. Oh, not what, I, not what I was expecting, but I'm not completely surprised because we all know that Rihanna is very independent. Um, but independent doesn't mean that you don't want to be with someone, right? Independent just means that you can take care of yourself. So five of cups and three of swords, five of pentacles yeah so this could this so i do see a prenup um she may not get one but i feel like she would want one deep down if she doesn't get one she she wants one for sure with the king of pentacles reversed and the devil like she she definitely wants a prenup but i don't think she'll, she'll she's gonna get one um so i'm i don't know this feels like divorce to me to be completely honest this feels like divorce to me like cheating or people tempting her like it's almost like she's so hot that she she needs to always be available to to pick and choose from what guys she wants to to be with or date you know that's really how it feels like to me Excuse me if you hear anything next door, guys. I don't know. I guess somebody uh, is having a little issue. Ooh. Someone outside's having a an argument. That could could that be a sign of arguments for Rihanna and the guy she's gonna marry? Or the person? Because I mean you never know. Three of wands, seven of wands, page of wands. Yeah, I just really see her having a hard time, guys with this marriage and there may not be kids either from this yeah this it's, it's just burden okay it's just a lot of burden it's just a lot of burden okay nine of wands nine of swords so nine ten i don't i don't think this is this is a good situation here okay nine of wands nine of swords ten of swords look at that i mean it's just it's just toxic Mm. it's scary it's it's weird like the more cards i pull guys like the worse it gets so i wonder if i should just stop now so there could be a cheating scandal i don't know if it's going to be her necessarily but i feel like people are going to try to break her up like whoever she's really in love with 
I feel like people are trying to break her up from this from from her spouse. That's what I really get, guys. Now Drake is popping up, so maybe he's going to try to distract her or start beef with her over social media. Like someone whoever her exes are, like I I feel like a lot of her exes are very toxic. You know, like a lot of Rihanna's real exes, like like real boyfriends that she's been with, committed like very toxic. So because of that history, it feels like she doesn't want to go back to that. She does not want to entertain that anymore. You know, all this third party nonsense. She doesn't want to keep doing it. It's a burden. It breaks her heart. So maybe her heart was broken before, you know, on the on the deepest level. And she just doesn't want to keep doing it. She doesn't want to keep dealing with it, you know. So unfortunately... I'm not really getting lots of characteristics except the, the prenup so that this person may have a lot less than her. Um, this person I'm, I'm picking up is very soft-spoken, but it just feels like she's, I don't know, guys, it's not the best. I mean, the cards are really abysmal. Um, Let's just go ahead and see Rihanna, who she's going to marry. Who is Rihanna going to marry? Like, what kind of person is this? Two of Wands. Yeah, this is a very, this is a person who I feel is insecure. Like, this person seems very insecure. Oh, there's secrets. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's secrets here. There are secrets. Yeah. There could be, there could be some infidelity. This could be a water sign or a Virgo. Uh, rising, Venus, Mars, Sun, and Moon. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups. Yeah. This could be somebody she works with as well. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be somebody who she's just known, like, in her production or just from work, you know, work buddies. This could be somebody who has worked with her, or wants to work with her on a project, but I don't see her really um, highlighting that. Like, she kind of keeps that a secret. This even could be a musician or a writer, producer, singer. But they don't make as much as her. But this this person does not make as much as her at all. And if they do, I do see a prenup. So if they make equal to Rihanna or more, I see a prenup. But I just feel for some reason that if this person makes equal or more, that there's going to be a lot of distance. I don't know if they're from like they're going to be in different countries or she's going to be living, moving. But it doesn't feel like they're very close. Yeah, so overall, this is just going to be for company purposes. This is not going to be like a, you know, I just see her being very uh, independent, like overly independent, like, okay, well, I'll leave you for four months, you know, Malibu, and it's not an issue. Like, you know, I'll leave you in the Beverly Hills or Calabasas or wherever, LA, you know, I'll live in this house, you'll live in Paris or something, or Barbados and um or New York. New York or Chicago like I'll, I'll I'll you know you can be over there and I'll be over here and it's not an issue so it's not really like a you know the typical marriage where two people are living together it could be a alternative situation so I just see her being very annoyed like I don't know you know how else to put it like I just see her being very annoyed damn well I hope this is not this is not what it is right because I love Rihanna Rihanna is freaking a legend man but the cards really show that she's been really hurt. Like Rihanna, Rihanna's been so hurt, guys. She's been so battered from men. And I just see her not wanting to put up with it. And that could be to the extreme of even having separate houses, like living in a totally different house, totally different city, just for the hell of it. I don't know. And that could have made her have commitment issues or not, or trust, I'm hearing trust issues like trust issues so to be honest with you if she wanted to be single for the rest of her life i think she'd be happier from what i could see here like if she could just be single and it not be a conversation you know who are you with who who stole rihanna's heart um she'd be happy like she'd be totally happy yeah there is an ex see i told you release her ex there is some kind of ex in the equation guys that may either uh confess to cheating with her while they're married or this could be an ex that she marries she could marry somebody from her past like i said see she could marry somebody from her past but either way either way this could even be an open relationship at the end of the day keep an open mind keep an open mind so i'm interpreting that as like an open relationship this could be an open relationship 
I don't really see her liking the, 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 the idea of marriage. I don't know if that's just what, you know, people have made her feel because of her bad experiences or if this is just how she really feels about it. Like she doesn't really believe in it or think that it's beneficial to her. Like she's fine by herself. So what is this person going to be like? What kind of job? For Yeah, four of cups, the lovers. Also could be a Gemini, Venus or Mars or 12th house. Lots of drama there. Yeah, high priestess. Yeah. I feel like her intuition tells her to be single or, or just not trust men. I, that's why I keep getting. Something about her keeps saying to herself, don't trust it, don't trust it. But, but it, you know, it's because of her bad experience is why she's she's like that. So how is this person that she marries going to be? What, what are they like? What is this person like? Nine of Wands. The Hierophant of the Chariot. This could, like I said, this could be a water sign. Cancer again. This could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Very strong water sign vibe here. King of Cups. This is a water sign, so she can marry a water sign. There you go. All right, that's all I see for now, all right? So I'll see you on my next video. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, and tap that bell. And comment respectfully below. Um, I have a website to offer your own reading. I will see you on my next video. Okay, take care of yourselves. Bye.